What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So in this video we're going to be talking about great daytime scents that are good for all four seasons. So I kind of broke it down into two price brackets and it's not really necessarily all that much about price. It's more about, I guess, quality in some ways because we've got all four seasons and then we've got one recommendation that's a designer to luxury niche. So affordability is going to vary with the designers as well as with the niche. So it's not really about price as much as there's a, you know, a higher quality option. For each season so we're discussing eight fragrances let's get into it starting with the springtime so springtime kind of evokes for me personally kind of this fresh green feel weather's starting to warm up depending on what climate you're in is going to dictate just how warm. If you're more in the southern states, it gets hot pretty quickly. If you're more northern or like where I was previously in the mountains, you still get a little bit of snow early on, so you still have some pretty cool days and some warm days. You get kind of a, a mix, if you will. So things that offer some freshness as well as a little bit more depth, even maybe some fresh spice, really serve the springtime well. And for me, the designer choice I love the most is Jean Barbados. This is Artisan Blue. So Artisan Blue is much more of a green fragrance. Even though it's called blue, and the color's blue, it's full of greens. Tarragon, grassy stuff, basils. Um, I forgot what citruses are in here, but it's a very watery green and fresh, spicy type of fragrance. Woodsy, musky. Quality is actually really good for as affordable as you can get this fragrance. A 4.2 ounce bottle is going to run you sub $50 price point. 75 ml is obviously even cheaper than that. This is good stuff. This has been my favorite springtime fragrance for several years, many years at this point. This is actually my second bottle of it, uh, which God knows when I'll go through a second bottle. But as far as daytime wear, I think this is ideal in every way, shape, or form. It kind of defines how I feel about springtime during the day. If you haven't checked this one out yet, you really should. We'll temper your expectations on performance, though. I get about four hours on skin, but I don't mind refreshing. And that's John Barbados. Artisan Blue. And as far as the niche pick, this is one that has easily become my favorite from this particular house. It is from the house of Mason Francis Kirkjohn. This is Aqua Celestia Forte. This is as green as it gets as well. Here you have a beautiful green mint leaf, bergamot lime type of feel, pedigrain that offers this mild fresh green feel without any spice. There's some woods, there's a little bit of florals, Performance is really good on this one. Um, the quality is top tier, as you would expect with an MFK fragrance. It's composed so perfectly. It's kind of a casual classy in some ways. It kind of falls in between to where this one can dress up easily, but can be super casual with a t-shirt like I'm wearing currently. Just, again, full of that green feel without being full of spices. Our designer choice in, for this particular season was a lot spicier than this. The pedigrain replaces some of those more spicy green basil feels um, and tarragon and stuff like that from the previous fragrance where it's just all about freshness here. The mint's not overdone. It's more of a mint leaf than like a spearmint gum or a toothpaste type of feel. So for those of you that aren't huge fans of mint because of those types of mint fragrances, you have no fear here. That's It's very high quality mint leaf. Just gorgeous for the daytime and the spring. That's Maison Francis Kirkjohn. This is Aqua Celestia Forte. Next, we're talking summertime. Who doesn't love summertime freshies, right? So when it comes to designers, there's a ton of great options. Uh, there's a lot I could have went with. So I decided to go with last year's summer release in the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue line. This is Light Blue Italian Love. Now, not the easiest fragrance to find super cheap, but you can find it for around $70 or $80, which is still well below retail for 100 ml, which this is. Came in a white tester box. Has the cap, all that matters to me. So you have a slightly bitter grapefruit bergamot combo here very oceanic feel but the biggest thing for this one that gives it a lot of depth is this earthy patchouli note that gives kind of this dark moist you know wetlands green type of feel to it like i said it's a very moist and damp type of patchouli because of the aquatic notes the synthetic aquatic notes that they use here a little salty oh, just so addictive to smell performance is actually pretty good on this one this is very much an ankle deep 
in the water, hang out at the beach next to the pier type of vibe and feel. It is one of the best summer flankers they've ever released in the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue line, in my personal opinion. I actually prefer this to the Hype Beast that was the previous year's release of Forever. They took Forever and, and made it a little bit deeper. The patchouli comes out more here. It's not just dominated by grapefruit. I think the bergamot plays a better role in here as well. It's a little bit more bitter. Uh, just as salty, but again, more damp and earthy because of the enhancement of the patchouli. Just gorgeous daytime wear in the summer. I strongly suggest getting your nose on this one's Dolce Gabbana Light Blue Italian Love. As far as the niche option, this is again, we could have went a lot of ways here. I debated on some from Aqua de Parma, some from Mancera, and so on and so forth, but I felt like the shining star in this situation needed to be Raja Parfum's Oceania. This is a very breezy and airy type of fragrance with real staying power without being a real in-your-face type of fragrance. A variety of citruses here, mouth-watering, a little salty and aquatic, without aquatic notes. I believe there's a, an ambergris that was used here to kind of give that musky aquatic feel. There's florals like iris and violet that give a soft, powdery, slightly soapy feel to this overall with a little bit of woodiness in the backdrop. This is an elegant, airy, fresh fragrance that I think can dress up very well, but is ideally suited for the daytime. If you're looking to spend a little more and get a little bit higher quality, this is one that I would strongly encourage you to get your nose on because it might be bottle worthy to add to your collection. It might be that one fragrance to wear this summer to make a memorable summer, if you will. And that's Raja Parfums. This is Oceania. Next is most fragrance enthusiasts' favorite season. We're talking autumn, fall time. So this one, it you would think nighttime, but this is the this line in particular, though most of the time they're date night fragrances, is how people like to look at them. I like to wear them during the day, and I decided to go with my newest edition from this line. It's a Zorro the Most Wanted Parfum. So I'm a huge advocate for the most wanted, and before getting this bottle, that was the, my pick the last two years, whereas I've been through a decant of this one. It's nice to finally have a bottle that I recently picked up this 50 ml, and this has more of a daytime vibe to me than even its previous version because there's a little bit more freshness to it. Uh, you still have that beautiful sweetness. It's a little like fiery hot spice, if you will, but it's overall much more airy. I find than the previous version whereas that's more densely sweet and warm and spicy this is still warm but again more airy bright and aromatic uh, so I think this leans itself to be a better daytime option now I think the best fall situations are when you get a true autumn season where it's starting to cool down you have more slightly cooler days than you do warmer days whereas here in the Gulf Coast it's still like summer for other places for the most part so maybe in the evenings you can get away with it more, but you know those cooler days when I would say Fahrenheit wise, you're creeping into the you know 70 degrees and below range. I think this is a great option for the daytime if you like spices, sweet woods, strong complement getting DNA. Just very attractive, really good performer. Something that you can just enjoy throughout your day. I think it's perfectly suited for daytime in the fall. My designer choice here is a Zorro, the most wanted parfum. This is a special choice, in my opinion. For the niche pick, this immediately came to mind because it's got so much depth and character. There's a lot going on here. It's got quality naturals. It's got pretty good quality synthetics as well. It's from Ormond Jane. This is Montebacco Verano. So there's a smoky tobacco type of feel to this one with a lot of grapefruit, different citruses. There's soft woods. There's a lot of isoe super in here. Speaking of soft woods, that man-made synthetic we were talking about. Rich, fresh, spicy, woodsy, a little earthy. Like I said, I get a little bit of a smokiness on it. Citrus, there's a lot going on with this fragrance. And performance is lights out. It will last all day if you're easy on the sprays and you do three to five sprays. People will smell you, but you won't overwhelm anyone or yourself. Because that's the biggest thing. You don't want to overwhelm yourself. Wear your nose out too quickly. Because there's a he pretty hefty dose of Isui Super in here. And you can potentially go nose blind or nosmic, however you'd like to look at it and state it. Um, 
olfactive fatigue. It's a real thing, especially with a high level of synthetics, which for a luxury niche brand, this is a little bit higher level synthetics than you would expect, but it really works here. This, the bottle color is fitting. It's a very blue type of niche fragrance and no secret, long time viewers of the channel know I'm a huge blue fragrance guy. It's kind of like my forte. It's nine times out of 10, I'm probably gonna pick the blue fragrance if I'm deciding what to wear during the day. So daytime, for my niche pick, I felt like there was no other choice but this. This was the clear cut option that if you haven't tried this yet, you really should. And some of you are gonna say, oh, you need to try in, uh, you know, Montebacco Intensivo, which has been recommended to me a bunch of times. Cause there's other Montebacco flankers that apparently are phenomenal. It's not just this one. So if you can get your nose on more fragrances in the Montebacco line from Ormond Jane, you would be doing yourself a service. But I can tell you right now, if you're looking for a great daytime wear during the fall, Got you covered right here with Montebacco Verano from Ormond Jane. Lastly, we're going to talk about winter. So the coldest of them all. Where I moved from previously, we had real winters with a lot of snow. And this is great for even the Houston, Texas winters. Because I used to wear this more when I lived in southeast Texas. And I even did in the mountains. It's a gorgeous sweet coffee leather fragrance. It's from Salvatore Ferragamo. This is... Womo's signature, in my opinion, the best one in the line. I know a lot of people love that coffee cake tiramisu original. Some people love how underappreciated casual life and urban feel are. All of them are really good. I haven't tried the special blend, but all of them are really good in this line. It's full of good stuff. All centered around the coffee note, and this one has kind of like Eros meets coffee and leather. It's the Eros type of sweetness, a little bit of the kind of minty apple bubble gum sage feel if you will i don't remember the notes exactly but it's kind of the smell that it gives off with this roasted coffee sweet cream roasted coffee smell and a soft supple slightly luxurious like a uh, leather goods type of leather feel like think brown leather wallets and purses and belts and stuff like that that type of brand new leather feel like coach and louis vuitton and just a quality grade designer leather that's how this smells to me or from Ferragamo. I mean, I'm, they make leather goods, right? Um, especially their belts. Their belts and their loafers are super popular. But this is one that performs really well. Eight to ten hours in longevity on my skin. This is pretty much what I used to wear it for when I used to wear it much more often than I do now. And I need to get back to it. That's one of the main reasons I'm featuring it. It's going to make its way back into the rotation once we get into cooler months. The recording of this, it's not the ideal season. It's the tail end of summer. But if you're looking for just a phenomenal daytime wear in the winter that, you know, sub $50 price point, good performer, strong compliment factor on this one. I have gotten my fair share of compliments with some real character, leather nuances, coffee, sweetness. It's got a lot going here. You're going to want to check this one out. Salvatore Ferragamo, one more signature. This is adding a lot of versatility to your daytime option with nuclear performance, like wear your nose out because it's so strong performance, crazy longevity, but super versatile, super enjoyable. It is the more warm and spicy animalistic take on what I believe to be one of the best fragrances ever made. We're talking about Menceras at Drapoise, but for the winter daytime, I'm thinking the intense flanker, intense to Drapoise. So like I said, you still get that sharp lemon fruity sweetness from the original. It's obviously not as fresh as to Drapoise. And there's a bit more spice here. I believe there's a little bit of cardamom. Cambodian Oud offers this woodsy, sweet, animalistic type of tone. You get a lot more suede, leather feel to this one. And like I said, lights out performance. It's a 40% oil concentration. A true X straight that's... It wears on the heavier side. Don't get me wrong, your nose will wear out. But if you like the original, you'll probably love this one. It's a deeper, more character-filled scent profile rich, performs great, and can definitely easily knife through the cold like a hot butter knife through a stick of butter is kind of how you can look at it. Uh, beautiful stuff. I would encourage you to get your nose on this one, even if you have the original. Yes, there's some redundancy there, but this is a superior scent profile and better for the colder weather overall. If you like wearing Cidrap Boise in warmer weather, you might be better off getting this to wear in the cooler weather. So my niche choice... Daytime winter, Mancera Cedrapoise, the intense. Well, that's the choices that I have for you today. Obviously, there's a lot more fragrances that I could have subbed out here, but these are some of my personal favorites. Some 
you know, classic favorites to the channel that need to make their way back into the rotation. Some newer stuff and some that'll probably always be in this situation, like Artisan Blue. It's just my favorite spring fragrance. But until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, because I do appreciate all the feedback. And I love hearing from you guys. For each of these seasons, what's your go-to? What do you like to wear during the day? Are you more the signature scent type and you want that one or two fragrances that you can just wear for everything? There's a lot of those out there as well. And some of these actually work for that, like Montebacco Verano, for example. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of the fragrances we featured for all four seasons, you give them a spray now, you'll probably end up thanking me later. Have a good one, guys.